There he is. There's the man right there. If you're joining me live, this dude at Navarre Beach, upon my coordinates of surf fishing spots, because Pensacola was way too crazy, Kyle, for a while, comes out to Navarre Beach and absolutely crushes the Pompano. So we're gonna give you uh, the second day uh, tournament, how we're doing here with this YouTube Spring King Pompano tournament. It was a great afternoon. It was totally dead this morning when I went surf fishing in, Pit, uh, in Pittsville Beach. I didn't get one single bite, one single hit. But there is one man today who we tried to go live earlier and the connectivity on the beach sucked and you missed words that would bring tears <laughs> to your ears. I'm telling you, man, I, what he was saying out there, I'm sorry y'all missed it, but now he's back. What is up, guys? I am out of breath right now. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, going up that hill, another side, wore my butt out. <laughs> Phenomenal day in the bar, man. Um, we're doing a second day recap, right? Second day recap, and you get the Crushing the Pompano oh, Award. Sweet. So we got a uh, grape I'll definitely crush that. cola, because uh, I think I ended the day with uh, three Pompano. Kyle, how many did you get? I had, uh, we got 10, right, Kyla? 10 Pompano. We got 10 Pompano and we, we did release a legal one just because we thought we were going to get some bigger ones. We got it. So got it. We got 11 and we kept 10. Got it. Sand fleas for the, the ticket today. Sand fleas for the ticket. We all started with fish gum, of course, and uh, I had some ghost shrimp as well. And it looked like today that it was small sand fleas on a white uh, float kind of hook rig oh, yeah. made by uh, Pompano Rich. He, he had those rigs. I was using rigs that I tied. And uh, they crushed it. They crushed the small sand fleas. There were people fishing fish gum down the beach. One guy, what was it, a six and oh, a half pompano? Some guy got a, not a stud pompano on fish gum. Yeah, it was a red fish gum. I think he bought it at Broxton's here. Though. And so you'll see that in, in our footio, uh, footio, videos. In our <laughs> videos, uh, we, we actually were blown away by it. We, we tried to ask him if we could use it for the tournament. Uh, <laughs> but we said, since we didn't recruit you ahead of time, he was going to give us the fish. It was a big pompano. It was guys. gigantic. It was nice pompano. It was bigger, it was it was probably bigger, I don't know, by about a, an inch to a half inch than what we caught there. We did cross them. We, we were in uh, Pompano ranges. We caught 13 between us, anywhere between 12 and uh, 16, 15 and a half to the fork. There was a bunch that were 14s and 15s. And so I say that to say, if you are a part of the Pompano Spring King Tournament, you guys better watch out. We got one day left to fish. We're coming for all of you. We're coming, we're, we're coming for all of you. I mean, I. I I wanted to give away this fishing spot to this guy because I don't want you guys to win, especially in Alabama. I mean, I, I don't want that to happen because, you know, I think four to one last year with Phil Hollinsworth, and we still want to keep that trophy here oh, in yeah. Florida, right? Those Alabama popping up. Son. They, they, right now, the leader of a Spring King tournament, I believe it's Salty, right? That's right, Salty. Salty, and then we have... Number two was Real Addicted Adventures, right? Real Addicted Adventures. We don't know what his aggregate yeah. is, but he's close. He's close. He may, he, he may be second. Tony's got a good chance. So you, he got a nice one. As, even though I caught nine Pompano or ten Pompano today, Tony got like, a couple of nice ones. I didn't get any size, but I did catch a lot of Pompano, but no size. Tony got a couple of them that had some nice size. He got Salty, Real Addicted. Third's going to be close. Third is going to be close. Tomorrow will be the deciding factor. Yeah, we're going to get up early and fish. You know, Navarre Beach is hot. Pensacola Beach, I don't know, the afternoon bite was hot last night. Today was terrible. I was fishing Pensacola Beach for the first 7 to 12, and it was we left. We, we were skunked. We came here because last night, you guys don't know, I caught seven Pompano in the same spot, same kind of sizes. Last night I was using fish gum and ghost shrimp. Four Pompano were on fish gum alone, and then three Pompano were on ghost shrimp alone. And today is a completely different story if you're just joining us. You need bait variety when you go surf fishing. Kyle started fishing with smaller sand fleas, and all of a sudden, four fish later, I have none. He's catching the pompano. So what did I do? I decided to steal some of his small sand fleas and, and use them as what? bait. And guess and what? And he caught a stud pompano. <laughs> About five minutes later, he caught a stud pompano on a small sand fleas. That's right. So if you're always catching small sand fleas instead of the big fat ones, 
Take it from Kyle. They work, man. Uh, smaller ones, just a little word of advice. The smaller sand fleas, I'm talking about tiny, tiny ones. Yeah, they work. Don't, don't throw away the small sand fleas. Small sand fleas, for me, have always worked way more. They've always been way more of a better bait than a big sand flea. Now, are you using uh, multiple on the same hook? I do. Sometimes, if I have like, extremely tiny sand fleas, I'll put two or three on a hook at one time. And uh, I'm telling you, the pompano love it, man. I absolutely love it. Let's take him to see your fish real quick. Okay. Let's get your. Let's get your. Uh, yep, let's get your your ten pompano. We got here around two thirty on the yep. dot. That's when the beach is open here. And if you live here locally, uh, I'm not going to really show too much about this spot because I'm going to cover it real quick. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm going to go right here. Uh, this spot has been hot the last two days. I will not be fishing here tomorrow. The weigh-in is going to be in Gulf Shores at Sam's Bait and Tackle. And these are the pompano that Kyle just rocked the house yeah, today, we're, we're a killing them. Oh, well, this one right here has got a yeah. good size to it. I'm trying to bring out the biggest ones in here. I feel like you're, I feel like you're, uh, you're, you're Larry Finch right now showing his Larry catches. <laughs> That's right. Larry Finch is an awesome fisherman. Yeah, Larry Finch's got a small channel. He's got a thousand subs, but he is a legend in Florida. Uh, if you just watch this, 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 there you go. Here's some of the big pompanos today that Kyle for a while will show you here on the, the street. They're not the biggest, but you know, on a day like today, you just kind of have to do what you, you know, what you're, what you're dealt with. So he's got ten more of those in the cooler. They're gonna be eating good. Eight Him and Kyla. Eight more? Seven more of those. Seven. Yeah, we got ten yeah ten total, total, seven more. Yeah, thanks. I was never good at math. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, I'm still not. And uh, again, if you try to join us earlier, that connection, we're here on the side of the road here in Navarre, Florida. Uh, this spot is hot. Today, again, to sum it up, day two of the tournament, we got fishing until about, I guess, two o'clock our time yeah, two to, to our get time. to the weigh in at three o'clock at Sam's Bait and Tackle. If you're in the area, uh, stop by and see us. I know that we're, we're, we're doing some social distancing still, so we're probably going to do the weigh-in outside. Uh, but we're going to have an incredible time together. There's a great group of YouTubers. This started last year, and now uh, Phil Hollinsworth is, is the one who's really heading up this tournament. He's gifted in, in event planning, and so we have really... Uh, through a lot of sponsors, we'll talk about those in detail in our videos, has, has secured a lot of prizes that we didn't have to pay for. We're talking about like the best Cadillac of fishing carts oh, yeah. to the winner. I think it's got battery packs. I lost, for, I lost track of it. Like, all I was on it. You can basically, yeah. live, you can basically live on it. Yeah, it's like a Cadillac of fishing carts. It is unbelievable. So we want to thank, and we'll give you more details yeah. with our sponsors later. We want to get their names right. We want to give a lot of special uh, attention to y'all. And we just thank you for your support. Absolutely. And it's great fishing with Kyle. I learned a lot from him uh, today. I learned a lot from Tony as well. <laughs> how, how to catch just a few fish is what he learned from me. How to catch, <laughs> how to catch your limit and then some because his, his girlfriend Kyle was here. So they're walking over to Tim Pompano. I'm walking over to three. I'm not going to show you my fish because we want to keep some things a secret to put some pressure on the guys in Alabama and anybody else in this tournament. We love y'all, but we don't want you to win. So we're going all in. We're all friends are fishermen, but at the end of the day, we are competing. So we gotta be careful. We want, you know, we kinda wanna catch them off guard a little bit, right? That's right. We don't wanna, you know, I can show my fish because mine are kinda like borderline, but Tony, Tony's got something in the arsenal, guys. Y'all be ready. And we still have one more day to fish, so it's anybody's ball game. It, it takes one 19 incher, four pound pompano, and then two 15 incher, 14 inchers, and you're gonna win this tournament because it's a three fish aggregate. The highest pounds together win. So we're gonna get in the surf tomorrow. Any closing words? I'm just gonna show up my A game tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get one that's got some size to it. Cause right now I got a lot of popping up, but I need some some size. He's gonna get some size. I, I have a feeling Kyle's gonna bring it in here at the I end. Hope, I hope so. So join us next time when we're in this area doing this YouTube tournament. We're all gonna be posting videos, uploading those soon, and we're gonna excite the surf strike together. God bless. Thanks, man. Absolutely. Sorry for taking so long, man. No.